Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode one and something a bit different today. So I was contacted, um, as I sometimes am, by RPG developers and such. Uh, someone got in contact with me about checking out his new game, which as of right now is unreleased. Uh, there is a page up for for it on Steam, and I think it'll be on Epic and Itch.io as well, but um, the link should be in the description here if you want to check that out. So this is a game that uh, I got very excited about when I saw it, and I uh, said, yeah, I definitely want to take a peek and kind of do a little let's try here for the channel. So I think that's going to be cool. Um, so I don't know much to say about it right now other than it is called Puppet Seed. And we're just going to jump into it. And we'll move as we go here. Okay. So this is sort of like uh from the from the bit I've played and understood of it thus far, it's sort of like a Kenshi Kenshi like um Kenshi-esque RPG. Uh set it to ultra, windowed full screen, so these are the options. Um it's very cool though. And we're going to be taking a look at it here. I don't know how long I'll play. Maybe it'll be a long let's play or let's try. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But all right. So from the start, you get a choice of which character to be, which race. So there's um, the clay statue race, the bots race, which is electric affinity. And if we show this elemental wheel here, um kind of shows you you know clay beats electric or I'm sorry electric beats clay and then clay beats ice and ice beats absorb and then absorb beats electric and then on the bottom it shows you explosive beats sludge sludge beats void void beats sound and sound beats explosive so it's a wheel you know that we're used to for different affinities and stuff like that so there's the bots race which are electric there's the marionettes, which are absorb, and the dew race, which is ice. And then over here, members of the chromes race are only obtainable as companions who can be acquired from within the game world. There's chromes, soup, the failed race, and anti-life race that can only be found as companions. So there's a bunch of companions in the game. They come as like item drops. And you can unlock them and have up to three companions at the same time. What was very cool that I learned right away is that you can outfit them with all kinds of loot. You can do their skills. You can do their stat allotment and really uniquely customize them and stuff. And it's very cool. So this is also a budget title, I should mention, that it's not quite... It doesn't have a ton of features in the sense of like, it doesn't have any quest or any story really. It has kind of background dialogue as we'll see and a lot of world building. Um, but I think I'm gonna be the bots. Start off as the bots cause they look pretty cool. Um, and then you can pick your starter summon. You can have a statue golem, a bots leopard, a marionette walker, a do shark, which is very cool. And then affinities, you know, a soup reaper, chrome skater. Summons of the of these races are only obtainable by defeating them in the wild or as drops from other hostile characters who use them. So there's a lot of stuff like that. Failed quadrobot, sludge affinity, void affinity. Um, it's sort of like a collectible, like can you collect them all of the companions? Um, you know what? I think I'm actually going to be the do race and go with ice affinity. So let's uh, start new game. And you're immediately dropped in. And welcome to Akora. Explore the frozen seas and scattered islands of Akora while you battle foes, gather rare gear, and most importantly, build and train a team of companions and monsters who will fight by your side and loyally watch your back. 
The world is also home to friendly towns and settlements whose inhabitants have their own cultures, opinions, and conflicts. Each of the eight races will react to the decisions you make during your time here, so choose your battles wisely. Very cool stuff, right? And here's the menu icons, which we'll see. Check your unlocked companions and use the regional map to show where each elemental type exists in the world. It is a large open world, by the way, ungated. Uh, here you'll also be able to check companion traits and see what reputation level you have with each faction. Uh, this button, you can see your currently acquired companions. Simply summon and click on a companion profile icon to open up all the same options you have for your player character. Spend stat points, learn skills, passives, and switch gear. Middle mouse controls the camera. This button, Akora is full of faction airships crowding the skies, ready to drop soldiers on those with unfavorable reputations. But for those on the ground, hovercrafts are a great way to explore the frozen seas. You get your own hovercraft, as we'll see in a moment. And as you navigate your way through these lands, you'll encounter those who wield magic from the eight elemental archetypes. You can access an elements wheel to remind you of strengths and weaknesses in the regional map menu. There's save stations. Um, whoops, let's close. There are powerful foes spread out across Akora, but none as ruthless and deadly as those given the title of demigod. Beings who have lived for so long without defeat that the power they have amassed is comparable to forces of nature. These entities usually reside on the peaks of the highest mountains with ghostly black and glowing red structures floating above them. Save points can be found at the foot of these mountains near the shortest distance to hike to the top. So the demigods, very cool. Um, if I hold alt, it lights up, you know, what's around here. Now, also note that this is not a finished version of the game. Uh, this is just the latest build and it's close to finished, but uh, we're going to see if like he's going to further develop it or whatnot. But um, I'm learning this game as well along with you guys. So I hope you'll enjoy it and go on this journey together because um, here's fast travel. We haven't unlocked those yet because I'm new to the game as well. So you should keep your companions by your side. It's not safe outside of the settlements. And this droid says, do you make a habit of camping inside archaeological sites? Over here. It's good to see you have a vehicle. Not many people own their own in Ikora. Alright, so here you can see the graphics. Alright. So let's do some exploration. Someone here working on something. So you can see a bit why I say it's like a Kenshi-esque type deal. Here's a save manager. These stations are excellent at storing memories. No need to worry about being forgetful ever again. Save manager, game saved. Okay. So let's, um, here's the buttons, by the way. If we click this, this is the summon collection. Um, this does not even show all of them. Uh, for some reason, the previous build I was on showed um, a difference. There was a different menu here that showed something. Oh, here it is. Then if we go to traits, each of these uh, companions also has a trait that they bring for themselves, which is very cool. And then there's wild cards. There's many more companions, enemies, which receive up to five random traits, can be positive or neg negative. So there's all sorts of different traits. If we look at our bot left, well, Hold on, before we do this, let's resume. Let's look at our companions here. We have the Dew Shark, actually. Um, the info isn't implemented yet. We could activate the Dew Shark, um, Iote, and the Bot Cat. And everyone's favorite genie is out of the bottle. Oh, hello. You don't look like you've been doing this long, and you really need some new gear. Well, pick a direction and let's go. We're sure to bump into trouble soon enough. And trouble means loot, which <laughs> means free items. Very free cool. items means me and you will get on just fine. Indeed. So if we click C and right click here, we can also see what they're equipped with, any skills they may start with. Um, and everybody has 50 stat points to allocate at the start. Oh, someone's coming over here. If you click that, it closes all menus get into a little combat here and of course they drop gear statue boots all different types of gear there's a gear mod different types of uh, rare gear and stuff Oof. 
As you can see, I don't have a weapon yet, but my companions are helping me out. Here's a companion, Leoli. So we can check that out. Here's our inventory. Um, and just right click, and now she'll be act activatable in the companion screen. But again, you can only have three at a time. So I'm going to drop the cat for now and get Leoli. And work on developing her a bit. Or that might even be a guy, I'm not sure. Um, so here's Iodi. Yeah, you can see their starting stats. Um, and if we hover over here, we can see what each stat does. So we can develop, you know, even the Dew Shark, we can develop. And this is the gear up here. For animals, they have um, implants and stuff. All different tiers and everything. Very cool. They do. They have different stats, different things on them, just for animals and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So this, they get this shark gets four percent attack speed bonus, four point nine percent damage reduction on defense, fifteen defense, five magical defense, five accuracy, three percent magical attack. And each level, you know, they will gain available points for these skills and stuff, and for uh, stat attributes as well. So, all right, and every character in the game has that, which I think is very cool. Um, you know, this is a more humanoid character with a different gear. She's got boots, she's got bot hair, which gives her five accuracy, gauntlets that give 4% critical damage, 5% 5.9% extra damage on her Under Armour, and you can see down here, everything is accounted for. It shows you all of her stats, so you can really dig in and customize quite unique characters, which is very cool. Okay, so let's see what we picked up. We picked up a gear mod, moving target, 2% dodge. Mods can be added to unequipped items. Right-click mod, then left-click a compatible item with slots. I don't think we have anything like that yet. Statue raised boots for a female. It says class F. 8.2% attack speed. Cool. So we can give those to her. And now she has another 8.2% attack speed. 113.5. Very cool. Um, so let's go ahead and allocate these points. I'll start with my own, I think. But I'm not sure... Okay. We start out as a blank slate. I'm not sure... That's why we were so weak there. Uh, what I want to develop. Dex, increase hit rate and slightly raise magical defense. Intelligence, increase magical damage, magical defense, and max SP. Luck, increase crit rate, damage, and accuracy dodge. Um, agility, increase dodge and attack speed. Vitality, increase max HP, physical, magical defense. Strength, increase physical damage. So I'm not sure how I want to build my character yet, but I guess we can start with a little agility. Dodge and attack speed. Um, I guess we'll get like five of everything to start off. Vitality. Intelligence. Dexterity and luck. And then from here, I'll take luck to eight for that sweet crit damage and accuracy dodge. We'll go with more agility, which I like. Um, magical attack. We don't have any available points for the skills yet. Oh, these are her skills, but we'll go ahead and get into that. Um, let's see. Dexterity is... Hit rate and slightly raised magical defense. We'll get a 7 in that. 7 in intelligence. Um, take agility to 10. Take luck to 10. We'll maybe go with a magical type character, but and then we'll put a few points there. And one in vitality. So there's my allotment for now. And this will be, let's start with the shark. They start with certain stats. Um, so it looks like they don't, like they could get the same kind of skills that I can. If I hit J, these are the skills that I can get and put on this hot bar down here. And all the characters have, you know, this. Bar, and that's a statue, this um, Leoli level one statue so these early summons don't seem to have any specific skills or anything that I can see but there are a lot of skills you can get you can get a dual wield ability vampire killing regenerates health mana well 
passively recover mana over time, furious, permanent 10% attack speed increase, and you can level these up as well. I believe there's like five levels of these elemental ones. Um, okay, so don't know if I should build her right now or build them right now because I don't know ultimately what they're going to become. Uh, the Dew Shark, we can probably be safe to like increase its physical damage, increase its vitality, um, give it some agility, some dexterity, some crit chance. We don't have to be super precise, I guess, but I do like to kind of customize, of course. And let's see, so that's it for the Dew Shark. Iote. She's got those statue boots. Um Yeah, I guess we should find some weapons first. I don't know, but I guess we can get a basic a basic build, right? see here okay so she's doing 69 physical attack 30 magical attack but I don't think she has magic oh yes yeah, she does have magic because if we look at her companions Iodi does Chain Lightning as her unique ability. So that is cool. And then the Dew, the Dew Shark, 10% HP bonus for the Dew Shark. And the other one, it's kind of hard to read the red ones on my screen. Um, it was the statue, though. Mm hmm. Statue robot. Weird, I can't seem to find. Oh, there's one right there. She must be a wild card. I'm not sure where you would see the random traits being positive or negative. Um, to further go on with these menus, there's race alliances. Conflict with members of any race will resu result in losing reputation with that race. As reputation drops with one, you will also gain reputation with the race, which has an elemental disadvantage to that race's magic. New traveling merchants appear in the towns that are allied with you, and if reputation falls low enough, any disgruntled races will, air will airdrop hit squads to seek you out. So you can see the eight races here were neutral with all of them. Uh, here's the map. Like I said, very large open map. We can see, you know, where each race calls home basically um, and then some gray areas as well and then controls <laughs> there's a torch button for T close all menus is F and it's also that button that I showed you at the top uh, pretty self-explanatory and then we'll get to the vehicle equipment mods are permanently bound and can only be applied to unequipped weapons and gear and every enemy you encounter can be acquired as a companion how cool is that all right, so I know we're kind of in menus here early on, and I want to show you guys more of the game and stuff, but there'll be plenty of time because this is not going to be the only episode for this. So, so this character um, has a different physical attack. And again, I don't think they have any skills necessarily, so they're probably punching as well. We can make this one more of a physical tank type. But I think everybody needs the basics of agility, dexterity, um, intelligence not so much. We can kind of make this one a bit more of a stronger character. All right, so that's our three characters to start. And if you press that, it just closes all menus. All right, so let's hit the save manager now that we've done that. And uh, let's do a little exploring. I don't want to jump in the hovercraft just yet. If we hit M, it brings up the mini-map. We can look around a bit. It is a large, unfettered, open world. 
from what I understand, and there is stuff all over. So I'm going to light a smoke here, guys. Bear with me for a second. Hope you're enjoying this far. You know how I do on the channel. Or if you don't, welcome. I kind of take a slow pace and try to be as thorough as I can. And show you guys. Look, you can see like various old satellite dishes and stuff. Very cool. Um, various robotics. Reminiscent of a game like Kenshi. But this is definitely its own thing. So I'm holding alt as I go so I can anything that's in the area will pop up um, I think yeah see like the save manager pops up and you can also this is pretty clever you can also tell where loot is from a distance I love how that shark is floating around and stuff that's very cool by um you'll see red uh, like those things that's loot that's treasure so we can run up here and get to looting baby and you have this little backstory kind of world building we have an explorer droid any information you can give us on the giants no matter how small is invaluable and Tarazius yes yes I get it I notice anything out of the ordinary you'll be the first one I come to and then we have some treasure things that we can loot we got a statue helmet for any class U means universal I think so 7 accuracy statue boots that look plain but maybe someone could use them whoa where did those go <laughs> I don't think I picked them up bot hair yellow buy price reduction accuracy magical attack health shards are like potions Heal 20% instantly and an additional 50% of max HP over 5 seconds. Um, there goes some credits. I think they fell to the ground. Yeah, they did. Okay. Alright, so let's head down to the ground. Got some loot to check out. I don't know if I picked up the credits automatically. Check our inventory. There's the statue boots. I don't see the credits down here. Oh well. Um, anything that is a bug too should be fixed or will be fixed uh, for sure. So let's see here. We've got bot hair yellow. It's for class U. I could even use it actually. Uh, why not? Pretty good stats for now. Three defense, six point five percent by price reduction. 5 accuracy, 3.9% magic attack, and as you can see, it changes on my character. How cool is that? <laughs> Got a little bot hair. Um, statue boots for a female. Don't look like an upgrade for anybody. The health shards we can put on our bar here. We have a gear mod. Statue helmet for you, plus 7 accuracy. Um, well, we can give that to... Uh, plus five accuracy, plus seven. Okay, one more defense. Her cool red hair is gone. Oh, I'm used to pressing escape to close the menus, but there we go. Cool. So I'm just kind of looking around here. You seem to have lost a companion. If you do lose someone, I may have deactivated them by accident. You can just activate them again I may have to do that alright so let's explore a bit cool stuff oh we're gonna have some combat I think here we go let's see if we can handle them boom you should flee Nicely done. Oh, as you can see, their health bars and stuff over here. Looks like we all leveled up to level two, perhaps. Bot body armor, gear mod battery pack, plus two percent SP, animal implant, five agility, two percent dodge, bot helmet. Okay, 
a little bit of combat and leveling up. So I could go ahead and let's see, I'm due. So I would want ice strike, right? The do race ranged ice magic, 10% chance to freeze target cast time 1.2 seconds, one second cooldown. Yeah, we'll grab that and actually put that on one. Put the health shards on like six so I don't accidentally press them. Here we've got a bot helmet, 6% or six accuracy, 3.9% defense penetration. Um, let me close my skills here. Actually, probably an upgrade for her. Yep, get that nice defense penetration. Or, what is it? Defense. Yeah, okay. Come on. Um, plus five agility for our Dew Shark. Now, hovering over, I would like if maybe, like, I forgot to mention this, but um, if there was an auto compare, because it's kind of tricky to compare, you have to go to each one and see. Like, I'd rather the 4% attack speed, I think. And you can see that stats change as well with everything, which is cool. Female bot body armor. I think that's probably pretty basic stuff. Yeah, so nothing. I just picked up this basic stuff. We could sell it or whatever. All right, let's see if they had any treasure. I don't see anything. Oh, what's up here? Well, hello. Retired Merc. I'm too old for this life now. Feel free to take my Lucinda. Maybe she'll save your life as many times as she saved mine. Hmm. I take it that's what's in this treasure. Companion Lucinda. Cool. So we'll unlock her. And if we look here now, we have Lucinda. Oh, she's a bot. Okay, the one with the red hair, um, Iodel or whatever, was a bot. Um, so there's Lucinda. Her trait, if we look here, health regen, innate health regen. So that's very cool. She'll be very survivable. Um, I actually want to now, it's a question of who do we want to keep and who do we want to get rid of. Iodi, that was her name, right? Okay, so I'm going to, going to get rid of Leoli here for now and activate Lucinda level one. And does she have, oh, she's got some gear on. Wow, look at that. She's got some good stuff. Um, doesn't look like she has any, oh yeah, she does. She has five out of five absorb leech. Ranged absorb magic absorbs enemy health. So that's what she does. That's very cool. Let's dish out her points. Wow, 79 life per kill. Oh my gosh. She's got very good stuff already. That's interesting. Um, dish out her initial 50. No intelligence. Hmm. But that is magical, right? She should have intelligence. Let's give her some intelligence. Ah, uh, some luck. Some more intelligence. She doesn't have a weapon, though. Weapon goes right here, so... She should be using that Absorb Leech. Um, So now it looks like it's costing two points to raise past 26. I'm not sure. Uh, okay. All right, cool. So we got a Lucinda. Let's run a bit here. Very cool. Old school robot. Now, I have not even gotten into the hovercraft yet, because I'm just kind of exploring the lands here. But our hovercraft that you saw in the beginning, I don't know if we saw it at the beginning, actually. Um, I just want to check this little island here. This, like, dark 
ice that we're on is actually traversable with the hovercraft and you can go sort of your vehicle to get around in this large world. So, um, now if I click hovercraft too, you automatically return to the hovercraft with this button. So I don't want to actually do that because where you park your hovercraft is important. Let's keep looking around. Keep stopping for some reason. I'm clicking, but it's not registering my click. That's weird. This wasn't happening to me. You could just hold the button and you'll follow in the direction of the mouse as well. Um, let's come up this way. I did give some feedback about the controls and, uh, okay, that's where we picked up that loot. And they may be implemented, so anything you see here, you know, is not really a final, final build. There could be quite a bit more iteration, even. Of course, more bug fixing as they pop up in this video or future videos. And I'm not being paid anything to give my thoughts on it. I just saw a very cool idea and I said, ooh, sure, I'll cover that. <laughs> kind of just how I do here on my channel. All right, so we're going to jump in the hovercraft in a second here. I just want to peek around here. Wherever you see red, too, is going to be loot. This looks like an interesting area. Hmm. Can I get up there? Let's try it. No, I don't think I can. Ah, who has been found? Let's check out the treasure. Mm. Nothing in that one. Mm. Nothing in that one. All right. Oh, look at all that. Sun. Bunch of loot. Well, potential loot, it's never a guarantee. Ooh, do shields. It's gold. Pretty cool. 28 defense, one handed shield, eight magical. Hmm. Grab that. Blue bot gauntlets, 3.9% melee damage. I could wear those mm. probably. Oh, do you under or do under armor? And bot hair yellow. Okay, let's check this out. Bot gauntlets, uh, F can wear those. So I don't think. Um, one second, guys. I don't think they're going to be upgrades for our humanoid characters. Uh, oh yeah, no, 4.6% critical damage versus 3.9% melee. Do shield, now that is cool. I could actually use that. Minus eight vitality, that's okay. Oh, dual wield, necessary to wield a shield. Interesting. So to use your left hand, I guess, you would wield the shield so I cannot actually, yes, yeah, it says dual wield ability required. Bot hair yellow to under armor. 15 defense, 5 magical defense. Same as what I'm wearing. Hmm. Is 
infantry helmet. Okay, so nothing we can actually really use too much, but it's all sellable, so it's cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, that's cool. Sun in the distance. There's our hovercraft. We're back at the starting area. We looped around. Um, I think. Yeah, we're coming at the starting area. Starting area is back in there. Hit the save manager, just right there, and roll out. Now I can just click this. Oh, before you head out, make sure you spend all your starter points in the inventory menu and done the same for your starter companions. The player and all obtained companions start with 50 points to spend in various stats. These need to be allocated to allow your team to fight at full capacity. Additional stat and perk points will be available each time you level up, and we did level up. The hovercraft is only meant for on-ice driving, not over land. It's important to save your progress at save stations. These can be found in non-hostile areas, such as towns or outposts. Some save stations will unlock as fast travel points after your first save there. You can check the map in the pause menu or open the mini-map in the game with M. First, defeat the Lioli next to your hovercraft. You can use the item that's dropped to gain them as a summonable companion. We did that. Hold down left mouse button on an enemy to auto attack. Spells can be gained as you level up. Click this icon next to your health bar to quickly close all windows in game. Cool. All right, let's click it. And we're going to, boom, be in the hovercraft. So we can actually float on the ice with this. Very cool. It looks like it's nighttime now because I think it got darker. Looks like there's stuff up here. A little slippery. We'll park it right here. Press Q to get out. Now you do have to summon your companions. Let's roll out. Isodine. Isodine. Without power production, production from us bots, Ekor and Skies would have a lot less traffic. You will never see the statues or do getting airborne with their clay or ice magic. So it's the bots electric. Makes sense. Can't power that with clay. So I don't think so. Okay, we've got something over here. It's like a save manager. And some peeps. Looks like an outpost of some sort. Tentaya. You're a long way south. We don't get many visitors down here. Dadex. It's a good job there are bullproof cosmetics all over Akora. Where else will we earn credits for things that are just weighing us down? Okay, we've got a trader here. Boom, so we can see what they have and trade our stuff. Uh, right click player items to sell to the store. Did we sell it? 61, 78, yep, okay. So that, 
192 credits. Cannot actually afford anything. Um, did we click these? Ah. Very cool. Mods and stuff. Nothing we can actually afford. Okay, so if I click that, or I just walk away from him, he's still up. He'll go away. Jiliax. If you want to learn about other odd and unnecessary things we know about humans, visit the Human Museum on Dew Island over to the west there. Sleep guard. Oh. I pressed the sleep guard. Did we sleep? Oh, yeah, because it's daytime now. Oh. There is a sleep experience. There is a day and night cycle. Imramasu. We try not to brag, but sleep experience is a Chrome's establishment. You might call us pioneers. <laughs> pioneers in sleep. Zudano. Everybody kept saying I wouldn't get myself a compound, but fend off enough members of the failed out in the wilds. And eventually a summoning shard is going to find its way into your possession. So he summoned a failed something or other there. Very cool. And it's now daytime. We can see a bit more of this lovely world. Do I have all my companions with me? Yeah. Treasure. And you're going to miss treasure, guys. It's just really all over the place. And oh, how do I get up there? There's going to be plenty of it as you play, so I wouldn't sweat it too much. Gear mod moving target, 2% dodge. Bot Under Armour, 7.4% damage on a female. That's pretty cool. Let's check that out for Lucinda. She's probably got better. 7 HP regen. Well, that's Under Armour, 26 defense. Yeah, that's actually an upgrade. 6 defense, 4.7% defense versus 7.4 damage. Um... Give it to her, actually. Ooh. Nice upgrade. Although I seem... We seem to have misplaced our companions. Hmm. Treasure over there. Treasure, treasure everywhere. Oh, it's way over there. Just in case we run into any enemies, let's... I don't know what happened to them. It's weird. That may need to be looked at, though. This looks like a tall mountain, but I don't think we want to go up there and fight a demigod. That's for sure. Oh, we've got company. Oh boy. Oh, I have my spell. I forgot about my spell. Ah, I need a health shard. Oh my gosh. Wow. We just made it. I think. <laughs> Bot Katana, that could come in useful. Oh, don't tell me I can't pick it up. Oh, it's over here. Health shard. Hmm, I might have fallen through the ground. No, it's kind of... It's over here somewhere. That's weird. Could really use a katana. Now it's over there. Yeah, it might have fallen through to oblivion. Bot armor plus 20 luck. Wow. 
Couple health shards. Gear mod haste, two point one percent attack speed. Really wish I could get that katana. It is through the floor, pretty sure. So that will have to be fixed. Because I would love to get a katana right now. Wait, over here maybe I can grab it? I'm not giving up. Give it to me. Hmm. Okay, just gotta move on. Now you do have to remember where your hovercraft is parked to. We're level three is cool uh, because you don't want to get so far ahead of your hovercraft that you kind of leave it behind it's a little tricky to navigate but it is very cool I was heading back towards the save manager actually look around But then you always have the mini map, so that's good. The mini map will keep you in line. That was a pretty tough fight. Do want to hit the save manager? jump back in the hovercraft probably probably uh, did I check out what we picked up bot body armor for a male wow 4 vitality 20 luck Ooh, put that right on check it out <laughs> got my armor on Looking good and black uh, got a mana shard got all these gear mods um Let's take a moment to do our numbers here. Let's get a little bit of a uh, vitality. Wow, luck is 30 right now. Um, okay, we'll do our peeps here. He's got two available points. So what do you give a shark? Hmm. And can he use this stuff? Max level 5. It doesn't say what it costs, though. Maybe we have to go in order. Um, let's give him Ice Spike. And Dual Wield. Vampire Killing. Oh, that costs 5. Okay, we'll give him 2 an Ice Spike. And... I guess he actually needs some intelligence then, right? Because he doesn't have a weapon. Not quite sure how all the systems work, so... Bear with me, guys. Two points for her. She's a bot, so we'll give her Electric Bolt. And get her intelligence up, but still give her other stuff as well. And then Lucinda. She's got two point, uh, one point, so it's not enough. She can spend four, though. Luck, luck. Dex. Intelligence. Oh, Vitality. Okay, am I forgetting um, my own skills? A way to be under inventory. No? Available point one. Okay, so I'll get another point of Ice Spike. Very cool. And let's roll. Was I up here? Yeah, there was Isodine. All right, so let me quick save again. Well, save manager. I think that's the only way to save. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how long I've been playing. Um, 49 minutes. Wow, time flies guys uh i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching um 
If you did enjoy this, please consider leaving a like by giving me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're new here. But only do those things if you really want to. No pressure or anything. It is all good, whatever you choose to do. I do hope to see you guys next time uh, in whatever video it may be. But we're going to continue exploring this interesting title called Puppet Seed. Uh, I don't have a release date or anything for you guys, just that it is in production. It's unreleased as of right now. And I will be taking a look at more of it in the future. So stay tuned for that. And I'll let you guys know more when I know more. And uh, oh, there's a tall mountain. There's got to be something going on up there. Look at the ships up there. It looks like floating around. That is cool. But um, hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Until then, guys, be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. Don't go anywhere. Much more fun to be had. See you guys then.